to Africa's first heavyweight boxing champion, Kheli Kutsia passed away at the age of 67 on Thursday after battling cancer. Dubbed the Boxburg Bomber, Kutsia led the golden era in local heavyweight boxing featuring Kali Kutsnia and Mike Schutt. And he was the standout fighter as other contenders emerged like Pierre Knutzer and Jimmy Abbott. Now to help us talk about, we have roped in a renowned boxing trainer, Colin Nathan, Good evening, Colin. I mean, under these circumstances for the new year, we're halfway into the new year, and such a sad loss to hear the likes of our very first heavyweight boxing champion taking us back to the golden era. 1983 was when this happened, and definitely a man like Kede Kutsia putting boxing on the map for South Africa. Yeah, absolutely. It's a tragic loss for South African boxing. I mean, when I found out the news, it was just like heartbreaking because... You know, like when you go overseas to boxing gyms and stuff, people still talk about, it's not Harry, it's Jerry Kutsia. And, you know, like when he beat Michael Dokes in the upset of the year in 1983, dropped him in the fifth round, was edging him on points, and, and he knocked him spark out. You know, that was just a great moment for South Africa. Obviously, if you think back to our political history, that was one of the, you know, defining moments of sport because, you know, he has a guy, the Boxburg bomber coming out, he wasn't supposed to win the fight, had two previous opportunities before against John Tate, which he lost on points, and then he got stopped against Mike Reeve in 13 rounds. He got his third opportunity, and it was really third time lucky, Don King in the mix, Cedric Cushion in the mix, and all of a sudden we have the Boxburg bomber being the first South African heavyweight champion of the world. I mean, you see the likes of Brian Mitchell sending his condolences as well. We've really had a fantastic era. You think of Baby Jakes as well. So many great boxers have come through South Africa's for. But like you were saying, boxing has also changed a lot. Yeah, the game's evolved, definitely. I mean, we were talking off camera and, you know, there was, back in the day, there was 15 rounds. And now there's 12 rounds. Now, there, there's two theories to that. One is medically. And the other is when it comes down to broadcast and production, you can package a 12-round fight in an hour and you can't do an hour in 15 rounds so i'd like to think that it's medically uh the the, the durational rounds was changed because of the you know the medical conditions and just obviously the brutality of the sport there's no denying that but again you know like harry won the championship you know in, in a 15 round era we'll never be able to see 15 rounds again in boxing because like i'm saying those were the rules then <clears throat> this is the rules now Rules and regulations obviously change. The game's evolved. Safety perspective, boxing's a much safer sport. Obviously, there are ring fatalities, and that happens, you know, during, during, throughout the world, and that's just the nature of boxing. But when Harry won the championship of the world, it was just a great moment because, you know, again, like if we have another South African winning the heavyweight championship, it'll be over 12 rounds, not 15. Absolutely. And I think what's important to note, you mentioned earlier about standing up for certain things. And Kheri was known to be uh, standing up against apartheid at the time, which is unknown because politics and sport shouldn't really be butting heads. It should. But unfortunately, at that time when he was boxing, that was the situation. You know, there was no running away from it. Um, and again, you know, I don't really want to talk too much about our past. I really want to talk about Kheri being such a phenomenal fighter. When he fought Leon Spinks in 1979, I think it was for an eliminator for the WBA World Championship, Monte Carlo, he was a heavy underdog going in. And what does he do? Leon Spinks coming off two 15-round fights with the greatest of all time in the heavyweight division, Muhammad Ali. Never been dropped. First round comes, cuts her lands a right hand, drops him three times, and that's all she wrote. And again, you know, that was a fantastic win for heavyweight boxing, but for South African heavyweight boxing and South African African boxing. I love that. And also the fact that you mentioned he had lost his two fights and then he, in the 10th round, knocked out Dokes. That was incredible. There was a fighting spirit. And I, I remember seeing the sign somewhere in one of our studios which speaks about, it's not the size of the dog, but it's the size of the fight in the dog. And Harry had that fight. Absolutely. And you know, Dokes had never been dropped to that point in his career. And then, and then also, if you think back, his fight against John Tate was lackluster. He was here, here in Mbatu. And you would think that he was one of the favorites going into that fight. Tate was a former bronze medalist at the Olympic Games. And there was a lot to be expected of that fight. And it really was a damn squid. Because I don't think, I think it could have been, I don't think it was in Batu. That was when he fought uh, Mike Weaver, excuse me. Um, and then uh, Ellis Park is where he fought John Tate, I think. I, think, I, think. <laughs> I wasn't, you know, I was, I was a kid, you know, I was one years old at the time. And then when he fought Weaver, had him going in the eighth round, but kind of gassed out, got stopped in the 13th. And then all of a sudden, you know, he rebuilt, it, rebuilt his career 
and then got the shot against Michael Dodge. He wasn't supposed to win against Dodge, and that's what makes the win even more phenomenal. Dropped him in the fifth round, was edging him on points, and then all of a sudden landed the right hand and knocked him unconscious. And, and again, you know, that was a great win for South African and African boxing, and the first heavyweight champion for South African boxing history, Harry Kutsia. There we go. And Harry Kutsia, like any champion, had humbling experiences as well. Uh, we won't touch on that too much, but there were many that made him rise to what he was on and off the ring, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, but if, if, you, if you think back to his career, right, Corey unfortunately lost to Osborne Mashamani, also a legitimate world champion, WBO heavyweight champion, knocked out uh, Vladimir Klitschko in a massive upset in 2003 in two rounds. Corey has the distinction of losing to a South African. Harry Kutsia never lost to a South African. And look who he beat, Kali Kutsa, um, uh, Mike Skutter. Um, there were some great fights, Jim, J Jimmy Richards. There were some great heavyweights of that era that he never lost to. So he'll also be remembered as probably, undisputedly probably, the greatest South African heavyweight of all time in South African boxing. Colin Nathan, that's where we're going to leave it. And I love those words, one of the greatest boxing greats of all time and South Africa will fondly remember him. We've lost a giant for South African boxing and I think South Africa needs to stand up and, and realize what, what a legend we've lost in Kheri Kutia. There we go. Colin Nathan here on SABC News Full View.